guys! Okay, so I'm back today with a new tutorial, but it's um, to do with hair. I'm going to show you guys that half up pony that I did a while ago on Snapchat and on Instagram. And I had a ton of questions about it, and I'm going to show, show you how to get the curls that went along with it. And today I'm going to use my new me wand, but it's actually their new Octa wand. It's beyond cool. Um, it has eight wands, as you would guess, Octa wand. It's in like the best little travel and keep case ever. Yeah. Um, soon I really want to use this tiny one right here because I think it'll be amazing to try to get like those really good afro curls. So we'll do that one soon. But today I'm going to use their largest wand in the pack. So it would go right here and then this is where the wand and cord um, stay. Anyways, um, and a really big key before, this is like my third day of curls from them without any touch ups. So as, as you can see, it's like way loose curls by the third day, but I'm not having to retouch them. They stay really shiny and nice with the new me wand. And I also used their argon oil before I washed my hair, or sorry, after I washed my hair when my hair was damp, before I blow dried it or let it air dry, whatever you would prefer. But, and then to get these curls originally, I just did the same thing that I'm going to show you today. I'm just doing it on my second half today since I'm pulling it half up. So, um, I'm not going to show you, like I said, how to curl these top because they really don't need to be curled much more than they are at the end. So this is a good hairdo to do on your, let me take off these rings, on your like third or so day, second, maybe if your hair gets greasy quicker, um, of curling, of curling your hair. Um, but it should stay really shiny with the new me wand and stuff. That's what I've really found and that it held, it holds really well. So, just gonna make sure your hair's brushed out pretty well, unless you don't like to brush your curls out, and that's fine too. I know a lot of pre people prefer that. So you're just gonna push it all straight back. There's like no crazy trick to it, which is weird because everyone's kept asking how I do it. I'm just gonna rat it a tiny bit. You can do this with really any brush. And that's just to get these hairs to go straight back. Okay, so then the way I did it, I'm not going to pull all the way to my ears. I'm going to keep a little bit down above my ears and then do like an inch or so above them. And just pull a big chunk of hair because you want enough hair so that your half ponytail is going to look full and really cute because that's kind of the trick of it is you want this to look really full. And if you want, you can wear extensions as well. So this is how much hair I pulled for my half up. I'm not wearing any extensions today, um, but you totally can do this with extensions. I personally, if you have pretty long hair, would probably just put extensions in your bottom half and not even worry about doing them in this top half. Okay, so I'm just going to smooth this out just a little. Super simple. You want it to be a little messy, but not too messy, if that makes sense. I mean, if you like the really slick look, you can totally do that too. I just know that realistically I'm not going to get that perfect look, so I'd rather have a few little bumps in it. Okay, so also if you feel like you need hairspray, you can use hairspray. Now make sure it is like at the top of your head because it's going to fall a little bit. Okay, and I'm using a thick elastic. If you don't have quite as thick a pair, you could probably use a little see-through one and be just fine. Let's see. Okay, make sure you have all your hair pulled through. And since I didn't get a very good matching hair thing today, I would probably wrap it around. So let me go grab a bobby pin right back. Okay, so I'm going to wrap, pull from kind of underneath a little bit, get this piece of hair. I have little pieces that are stuck. There we go, and just wrap it around. It also helps sometimes if you wrap the piece of hair that you're wrapping around your hair thing. That got a lot of wraps. And then I'm just going to, you could do it one more time or whatever. I'm just going to get my end, stick it right in there 
with one or two bobby pins should do it. And that's just gonna give it an even cleaner look where your hair matches the half pony. Okay. And yes, I just spit on my hand. I'm that type of girl, so. Okay, now if you want, you can totally hairspray. I have some baby hairs, so in the end I might need to do a little hairspray or gel, but right now it's pretty good. Okay, so now these pieces right here are the ones that I'm gonna touch up and then my half pony I'll touch up at the end. So get your big wand. You really can do any size. I just want the really loose big curls for this. So I'm using my big wand. Um, start a little closer than you would if you were just curling your hair normal on a part. Start, I would start closer to your root, your root of your hair. Wrap it and wrap the ends on this because I feel like it's girlier, a little bit tighter than you would as well. It's going to give that fancier, girlier fill. Okay, and I'm just going to pick random pieces because I don't want it to be perfect. Just all the way around my head and do this exact same thing. Just wrap it around really easy. You can use the glove, um, which I probably should because I swear I do always burn my hand. But that's just because I'm not paying attention and I'm watching my kids while I'm trying to curl my hair. But I do have this awesome glove that you can use. And remember, like, to get these looking silkier and smooth, that serum, the um, oil from Numi is really going to help get that sleek look. Because I feel like with this, you kind of want it a little bit sleeker. And I'm just kind of fingering through the curls as I'm doing them. But like I said, I'm not worrying about getting every single piece. I really like doing this hairdo when my hair is like, I don't know, I find that the top part of my hair gets a little bit greasier and dirtier looking quicker. So at least this gets that slicked back and looking good. And then you can just play with this bottom half of your hair. Use some dry shampoo if you need and yeah, you should be golden. But, I don't know, I really love this look. I feel like it's so, like, celebrity-esque right now. You see so many of them doing it. And at first I was like, I cannot pull this off. It's too, I feel like I'm when I was 10 years old. But for some reason it comes across looking kind of chic. I don't know, and sophisticated. As weird as that sounds, it does. So, let's see. I have to get these underneath pieces usually because when I sweat after the gym they go kind of like kinky curly like my natural curl does so I tend to have to touch up those. Okay and then looking at my ponytail I want to touch it up a tiny bit because as you can see there's some pieces that aren't curling enough so you're just going to do the exact same thing. With this curl, I prefer all the curls facing back away from my face. Um, that's just a preference. You can really do it either way. But I usually like it better. You know what? Let's touch up this whole half pony. It's just going to make it look a little bit cleaner. And I'm usually not a big like earring person, like dangly ones, but for some reason with this hairdo, I feel like they're kind of a must. They like finish it off, so. So cute. And as you can probably tell, this curling wand takes like five, if even five seconds for each piece of, piece of hair and it curls it really well. And I'm not even using hairspray, so I mean that's pretty good. Okay. And this last piece and I'm doing pretty big chunks of hair for this look too if you couldn't tell just because you can just finger through them a little bit in the end and you want it to be instead of being so messy as I normally do I feel like you want it to look a little bit more sleek okay if you have these little baby hairs can kind of just curl them right over and that should help them sit down a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna finger through these curls a little bit. If your hair doesn't hold curls quite as well, I would wait till, it, till the curls are completely dry to touch them. 
But like I said, this wand really helps them hold. So yeah, it's so easy. I feel like that was like too simple. You guys are gonna be like, I could have figured that out. But I had a ton of questions about it, so I wanted to show you. Super cute from the side. It's I almost love it more from the side. Gives a really cute girly feel. Yeah. Okay, well, oh, and I can't forget, Numi is giving some awesome codes um, right now for my followers, so so I don't mess it up. You can use the code CAROLLEREN, and I'll put it in the text below my, my YouTube video and on the blog. You're going to capitalize the C and the L um, to get the Octa Wand set. That's what I showed you, this rad set that has like every single size possible and it has that pearl wand that I did a tutorial on forever ago that people loved and the reverse wand and just okay I want to show you this tiny wand though this will be perfect to try to get those afro curls and so I'm gonna try that soon but and your glove and anyways this isn't with the octawan set but it does come with the dill so if you use that Carolyn code you get the octawan set for 135 plus you get the argon oil for free so, yeah, and you guys, I had a mishap with my tan hand, and this one didn't happen. Oh my gosh, don't judge me. That's really bad. But I slept with my hand like this on my face. So anyways, I need to get it off, and I can't believe I didn't before the video. But that's okay. It happens to the best of us. But anyways, then there's a second code, and it's gold C, um, G-O-L-D-S-E-A. I'll put that as well in the um, box and in my blog post. And this will get you 50% off the entire site. So if you're feeling like, I don't know, you want to try their other ones or you want to get, I don't know, anything. Anything off the site. So it's awesome. But, yeah, I hope you guys like this look. It's super fun and girly. And I dare you to try it because I know at first you're going to be like, that is going to look awful on me. But I promise, try it and you're going to be so surprised. And I think you'll end up loving it just as much as I did. So, yeah. But um, thanks for following you guys. I want to see your end products with your Numi wands and with your cute half up do. So send me pictures, hashtag Carol Loren. And yeah, thanks for following and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye guys.